ਕਰਕੇ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੁੱਛ ਪਿਓ ਮੇਰੇ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਆਪੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਗਿਵਨ ਮੀ ਦ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਆਨ ਥਿਸ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਰ ਸਿੰਸ 1974 ਵੈਨ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਆਫ ਪੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਐਕਟ ਵਾਸ ਐਨੈਕਟਡ ਨੋ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਸਿਵ ਐਫਰਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਮੇਡ ਟਿਲ ਡੇਟ ਟੂ ਅਡਰੈਸ ਦ ਲੂਪਹੋਲਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਲਾਸ ਵਿਸ ਆਵਿਸ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਦ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਮਰੀ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਐਕਟ ਵੈ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਪੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਕੈਟਰ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੇਨਟੇਨੈਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਰੈਸਟੋਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਬੋਡੀਜ਼ ਹਾਊਐਵਰ ਦ ਆਕਟ ਸਫਰਸ ਫਰਮ ਵੈਰੀਅਸ ਡਰੋਬੈਕਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਵਾਟਰ ਮੈਨੇਜਮੈਂਟ ਪਾਲਿਸੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਫੇਲਸ ਟੂ ਡੀਲ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਇਨਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨੇਟ ਇਨਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨੇਟ ਟੈਪਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਵਾਟਰ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ few decades the country has seen rapid urbanization and industrialization causing pollution loads which are higher than ever subsequently the quality of indian water bodies has declined drastically and many water bodies have been lost or have shrunk considerably due to encroachment or pollution induced uh, eutrophication therefore this amendment bill is very relevant under the indian constitution the judiciary has included the right to clean water and environment under the ambit of article 21 48 and 51 g of the constitution of india the court has observed that right to clean water is a part of the basic necessity of human life to life and state is du- duty bound to prevent the water from getting polluted in the leading case of mc mehta versus indian of india the court held that preventing the water of river ganga from being polluted was the need of the hour in 2021 parliamentary standing committee on water resources had lacked the fact that as many as 48900 rural habitations were affected by water contamination due to arsenic fluoride iron nitrates heavy metals and high salinity the parliamentary panel recommended that the department focus its attention on these habitations on these backgrounds amendment bill seeks to find remedies in existing law firstly the bill intends to streamline the appointment of the key officials of the state board the second major amendment is to uh, <coughs> decriminalize criminalize the penal provisions allowing the citizens and businesses to function without fear of imprisonment for minor technical or procedural errors i welcome these provisions on behalf of my party biju janata dal in this regard i would like to say that we should not stop with this legislation we should be proactive so far as protecting our water bodies is concerned odisha state government under the able leadership of honorable chief minister sri navin patnaik ji has initiated the process to set up a state water informatics center swic a body dedicated to handle and monitor water resources data from flood water ground water surface water and rain water among the others the state government is also actively working on the rolling out self drinking tap water supplies water corporation of odisha watco an iso certified government of odisha own not for profit company started its journey with only three numbers of ulbs in 2019 by march 2023 it is now operational in 29 ulbs covering more than 65% of total urban population of the state towards drinking water supply and sewage management it is likely to cover all the 115 ulbs of the state in the following years sir there is an urgent need for preventing our streams reservoirs rivers lakes from being polluted if the systemic weaknesses associated with the governance structure are not addressed there is not going to be any benefit from any amendments india needs a robust monitoring and enforcement system that can detect and arrest pollution at the source the government must ensure strong transparent and accountable thank mechanisms you. that strengthen the policy and achieve its objective thank, thank you. you sir with this shri nihal chand ji krupya sankhep mein dhanyawad sabhapati ji sabhapati 